Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. What did Dustina do? Something stupid. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. I know it's a lot to ask. It's early in the morning. Maybe having breakfast. Girl. A 30, given her actions, I consider her a 39 year old Dustina, a 39 year old certified fool. Why is she on the screen? Keep in mind, people do what they want to do. People do what they want to do. Let's see what Dustina do. She has a new home for now in the county jail. Check it out, people. Fair use deadly stabbing inside of a dorm at Lincoln University in That's Chester County. Day. The sister of a student is now in custody and facing charges. Ugh. I would as news reporter Alicia Reed joining us now from outside of campus with more on that arrest. Alicia. Good afternoon, Janelle. The Chester County District Attorney believes this was a premeditated murder, saying the defendant drove an hour and a half from her Mount Airy home with a knife to join into a fight on a college campus, stabbing three people and leaving one dead. They released a mugshot of 39-year-old Nadira Smith, who has been in custody since last night. The officials say Smith called Lincoln University on February 16th, saying her brother was in trouble after his roommate possibly stole items from a group oh of gosh, students fight. and that the family was on their way. Smith got to campus just after 9 p.m., presented her ID at the gate, and left around 9.20, soon after the homicide. 21-year-old senior Jawine Evans was stabbed in the neck and pronounced dead outside the Living and Learning Center dorm, commonly known as the LLC. Two other students were stabbed but are expected to make a full recovery. Philadelphia PD were able to track Smith's maroon infinity to her home and executed a search warrant. Officials say human blood was found inside her vehicle and home. The 39-year-old is being charged with murder in the first degree, murder in the third degree, possessing an instrument of crime, aggravated assault, and related charges. The DA says they will use every bit of evidence to prosecute Smith to the fullest extent of the law. They found blood stained clothing consistent with the clothing the defendant was observed seeing wearing during the incident involving the murder. Detectives recovered a set of knives from the defendant's home where one knife was missing. Medical paperwork from Chestnut Hill Hospital was also recovered at the residence indicating that the defendant had sought treatment for a laceration to her hand mm. after the murder. Smith is being held without bail at the Chester County Prison. A preliminary hearing is set for. She drove over an hour to go and fight. You how came with her knife. I just cannot imagine. Someone stole some items. Go ahead and call the police to an investigation. I came to fight. I'm going to beat it out of them. Really? Stolen items. You drove an hour and a half, came to fight, and now somebody's deceased. Night, night. Make it make sense. They... Dusties, Dustinas are just like their men. They they don't think they just do. And now look. So I'm I guess it's safe to say when things go wrong, they get to call Big Mama in, Big Nadira. She gonna handle luck. She gonna boss up. She gonna show them how it's done. You ain't gonna steal from my brother. I came to fight. And you did. And now someone's deceased, and you're in for the fight of your life because you are hell without bond. Are you serious? Are you serious? Dustinas don't think. You really have, I mean, seriously, you drove an hour and a half. So people do what they want to do. I wonder if she would drive an hour and a half 
for a job. I wonder if she even has one. I wonder if she will drive an hour and a half to start a business or to get supp- supplies for a business to go to attend a conference or a seminar for a business. Would you? People do what they want to do. That's why when a lot of things happen, I used to be one of those, oh my God, what happened to, oh my goodness. No, no, no. Somebody used to call me, I, I've been called before, oh, you're so Pollyanna. Which I had to figure out, like, what the heck did that mean? But this right here, people make decisions. She made a decision, and more than like, like I said, she might, she must be the Mike Tyson in the family. If you want to fight so much, girl, go get paid. But now she done bought a stabbing. And as a result of, I came here to fight. This boy is deceased. Check this out for use. Here's the student. Popular senior, Jawine Evans, who was known for his basketball skills, is now being mourned. He was a senior about to graduate. He was almost out of here. His mm. alleged killer, Nigeria Smith, is behind bars. Officials say last Wednesday, the 39-year-old called Lincoln University, worried about her brother after his roommate possibly stole items from a group of students. By 9 p.m., she presented her ID at the front gate. Cell phone video shows Smith with a bright colored hat in the middle of a squabble. Soon after, Evan stumbles away, visibly injured. (laughs) The artery in his neck was severed. Every time I walk in there, I I, I think about him. Police were able to track Smith's maroon Xfinity to her Mount Airy home and executed a search warrant. Officials say blood was found inside her vehicle and home. And in addition, detectives recovered a set of knives from the defendant's home where one knife was missing. That's the knife she uh, probably put in her vehicle when she rolled down there, when she came to fight. And now look. So a college student is gone. And so is her freedom. This is how we handle conflict. Nobody can say, okay, let's search your body's things out. No, 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 we, we can't do that. Th- this is how we handle conflict. We got to get the boxing up. All these people. Th- this, this, this is how it's done. Nobody can calm down. Of a call security, Soon call after, the cops. This Evan is it. stumbles away, visibly injured. So embarrassing. And it's just, it's it's useless. There, there are no winners here. Hell, ain't nobody won. Well, she'll get what she deserves because she's locked the hell up. Miss, I'm going to tell her, I came to fight. One in the ground and she's gone down. Welcome to the BC. Conflict resolution is like a, it's a foreign entity. We, can, we can't even relate to that. We got to be ready to box up. Well, why don't we box up? If you want to fight so much, hey, let's girl, girl, let's go ahead and box up. I box up with you. Let's go ahead and fight poverty and ignorance. Let's go ahead and fight the lack of critical thinking skills in the community. Let's go ahead and fight the fight of telling women, don't be a dumb poverty pea chick and carry the seed of poverty D. You're behind going to get stuck. He's not going to help thee. Let's go ahead and fight that narrative. Let's go ahead and fight to learn. Uh, girl, by the way, I hope she's not a mom. Oh, Lord. What's your reading comprehension? We got, in some states, they're saying you got grown. Well, they're not grown, but we got seniors that are supposed to be uh, graduating. Can't read past the sixth grade level. Think you done read out the cat in the handbook and you achieved something. Why don't we fight ignorance, poverty? Why don't we do that? Why don't we fight to have a business? This right here just shows you the level of depravity, but this is part of our culture. I once heard a woman, I kid you not, in a professional setting, and she did not last long. Straight up hood. Something had happened. I could not believe it. Uh, it was a simple thing like picking up a child. And before you know it, there was it was a family issue. And before you know, words were exchanged. And at one point, I say, you know, if, if it's like that, it's just the best to agree to disagree. If you got a family member and someone's yelling, ah, 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 oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know what? 
it's just time to just, we're going to agree to disagree, and I'm going to walk away. Oh, no. The family pulled out the fisticuffs. Oh, they started knuckling up. What did she say? I'll never forget it. She said, man, I wish I could give me a day off. I would fly down there and help them fight. Uh, well, by now you've heard, you've heard about the fight because they've called and told you you're on a business trip. So I'm quite sure the fight's over. I mean, it isn't like continuing through the night. But when she said that, I thought, wow, you are willing to hop on a plane and go help fight. And this is our family. I knew then she was cute but ghetto. An older chick, too. You in the spin air flare, airfare. What did you get a black eye? Or get a knot on your head like this chick? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if that's supposed to be ash or something. I don't know. Maybe she been knuckling up too much. But what, what are you going to do? Okay, let me fly back. I, I, I have a conference to attend. This is work oriented. Let me fly back. I'm finished fighting. Ghetto. Ghetto mentality. She drove an hour and a half. That speaks volume. So this right here, she's probably this is nothing new to her. I'm willing to bet she's probably been doing this. But now this is how smart she is. In true ghetto fashion, you don't think you drove an hour and a half. They're gonna use their timeline. They're gonna they may say it's premeditated because you drove the an hour and a half, over an hour, what have you, and you had that knife, and now the kid is dead. Oh no, they got you, mama. That's why it's no bail for you. Ignorance in its truest form. Sometimes it's just best just to walk away. It's best to walk away. You see too many chocolate drops. Don't bring too many values because somebody going to steal something. That's no, that's pretty much guaranteed. But we don't know how to handle things in a lawful manner. Welcome to the BC. One down. And here's a college student. I'm quite sure he had a plan. This probably was a part of it. And even this right here is so embarrassing. In a how knuckling up. In a how. Why I got the I don't know if this is a black university. It doesn't even matter. But why we gotta get down like this here? So she's going down, already there in the jail. And now this young college boy will be placed on the ground. Life and dreams over. Just like that. One quick decision. Hate to say it, son, in this case right here, where it's, I know you wanted, I don't know all the details, but sometimes where it's two or three, anytime it's a dust deal, even if it's trying to get educated, that's just where you don't want to be. It just takes one, one person to set this off or with some allegedly stolen items. And now look, a life is lost. Uh, thanks for watching, people. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Hope you enjoy your weekend. And please, please, please stay dust free. I'm out.